G'day everybody, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. I'm going to do a picture loosely based on the TV series, The Last of Us. I'm going to start off with this picture here. I've already removed the sky, it was just a bright blue sky. So as usual, let's get started. We clicked on this city here, on the layers over here. And what I'm going to do is come over here to my rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just going to make a copy just of this section of the city here with a command J. Let's get rid of the marching ants. Now you can see that we've got our copy here. So let's just call that city copy. And what I'm going to do is make sure I'm clicked on that, come up to arrange and flip horizontal. I'm going to move the copy underneath this city. And on my move tool, I'm going to move that across and bring it quite high up and stretch it to about there. Looks pretty good, just not too bad. Okay, the next thing we'll do is we'll add some moss to the road here. And I've got this uh, fungus here or this sort of moss picture. And I'm just going to bring that down just above the city here. I'm going to use my perspective tool here and I'm going to just bring that down to about here. I'm going to make the picture a little bit smaller with my command minus and on each of these little nodules here I'm going to just pull them out to the side just to flatten that down a little bit. Just about there and then I'm going to hit apply. Let's bring the picture up a little bit bigger. Make sure we're still clicked on that fungus layer here and I'm going to use my flood selection tool now. Wherever I just see this gray area, I'm just going to click and delete some of that so we can see the road underneath and over here as well. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. And then I'm just going to get my erase brush tool. I'm going to bring the flow all the way down to a about 5%, fairly big soft brush. And I'm just gonna brush over some of that. That doesn't look too bad. Might make a copy with the command J and then make this one a lot smaller. Just add some up the road here. Command zero, just going up that road and then what we'll do is grab our erase brushes again and just erase just erase some of those harsh lines. There we go. Pretty happy with that at the moment. The next thing we are going to do, we can just put our sky in the background and I've just got this picture of a sky here. What I'm going to do is turn it around upside down. So just holding my shift key, I'm just going to turn that sky around. And then I'm going to stretch it out. The only bit I really want is sort of the sun creeping behind this part of the city here. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we've got our sky in place now. What we're going to do is add some of that sort of fungus to the buildings here. And I've got this layer here. I'm going to do the same with that with my flood selection tool. It just gets rid of some of this sort of grey in the background here. And that's fine like that. Let's get rid of the marching ants. And again, we're going to change that blend mode to overlay. I'm going to bring that right down on top of the city here. Grab my move tool. And I'm going to just put that up here onto the walls of the city and stretch it out. Maybe move it across like that and down a little bit. Some of that moss on there. Again, I'm going to make another copy, Command J, and I'm going to move that on top of the copy of the city. And I'm going to move that across to here. So we've got some of that moss on there as well. And one more copy, Command J. And again, that's okay where it is. And I'm going to bring that over to this wall here and turn it around. Make that a little bit smaller. Just want that spilling over onto this section here. A 
it's not too bad. What I'll do is grab my erase brush tool. We'll bring up the flow maybe to 10% and just get rid of some of that. There we go. On this one up here, we might get rid of some of that with our erase brush tool as well. Just up the top here. There we go, we've got some of that moss in place there. Now, the next thing I'm going to add, I've got a light pole here, so I'm just gonna add that light pole. And I've got some grass, so we'll turn on the grass as well. And you can see I've just added that grass sort of all along where that moss is and a little bit. We'll just move that down a little bit. And what we'll start doing now is just adding some of exposure to some of these areas so that the city will add an exposure and we'll clip that to the exposure and darken that down quite a bit to about there, quite dark. And I'll copy that exposure and I'll add it to my copy of the city as well. So I've got that same. And also another copy and we'll add it to our light pole as well, just to darken that down a bit. And I might darken that light pole down even a little bit more to about there. And I'm also gonna add that exposure to the grass as well. But bring that up maybe a little bit lighter. Still about there, looks pretty good. Okay, I've also got a vine here. We'll turn that vine on and we'll also add that exposure to the vine as well. Make that a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna add that to the light pole. Might grab my mesh warp tool and just warp that around a little bit. Hit apply. We might add one more of those vines as well. We want the vine just going down the other way. And that looks pretty good with that vine. What we'll do also, we might just make another copy of the fungus here. We might take that up to the pole. Let's make that a lot smaller. Turn it around, bring it onto our pole here, command zero, let's get it back onto our pole. What we might do is just clip that to the pole so it's only affecting the pole and stretch that all the way down. So we can see some of that on the pole there and starting to look pretty good. So what we might do is add our birds in. I've got this copy of our birds and we'll bring that down just in front of the city here, add some birds. What we'll do to that is change the blend mode to multiply. We'll still have a line here. You can see this line here on the bird. So what we'll do is click on the birds, come over here to our blending options, and we'll bring this source layer ranges. We'll bring this one all the way down and across to about here. And you'll see now that we've got rid of our line. So we've got our birds, I'm gonna put them sort of right in front of the sky there. Going to make another copy of our birds. Arrange, flip horizontal, a little bit smaller. Gonna bring some down in the distance here as well. We've got our birds in place. What we're going to do now is add our characters. So this is the character that I'm going to use for the Joel character. So let's just move him a little bit sort of about there. Going to grab some more of that grass and copy it, command J and move it in front of the character and just move that in front of his feet there. We'll make that a bit smaller. About there, but we'll get rid of some of the bits that we don't need, maybe these bits here. There we go, that is looking pretty good with our character there. We will add an exposure to our character, so we'll add an exposure and we'll darken him down a little bit as well. That is looking pretty good. 
What we'll also do with our character here, I'll add a new pixel layer. And on that pixel layer, I'm gonna pick this sort of bright yellow color that I've got here and activate it. I'm going to grab my fill tool. Make sure that color's activated once you click on your fill tool. And I'm gonna fill that with yellow. And I'm going to just clip that to my character. I'm going to add a mask to that pixel layer. And I'm going to invert the mask with my command I. On the pixel layer, I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay and then click back on the mask. Coming to my brush, make sure I've got a sort of soft brush on that layer. I'm going to take the flow down to about, I think, 5%. Let's zoom in and let's just put a bit of that yellow color. Make sure we're painting in white, just on his hands here, just where the light might capture. Hit X on the keyboard to get back to your black and white D and then X, go back to black. If you've got too much, we can take some away. Back to white again. Zoom in. I just want to put some of that yellow in his hair a little bit. Very, 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 very subtle and X just to take a little bit away, just on the edge there. While I'm here, I'm gonna hit on my exposure. Again, make sure I'm painting in black this time. Still on a flow of five, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of light. Might take some of that yellow away back on that mask and hit on black, just take some of that away. So just a matter of adding and taking away just till you get the sort of look that you want. We'll add our next character, which is gonna be our Ellie character, which is this character here. Let's grab our move tool, just move her up and over. It's like she's just walking away. We'll do the same, we'll add an exposure Clip it and darken her down a little bit as well. Also gonna grab another copy of that grass, Command J. Make that a lot smaller and put that in front. Again, just about like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to make a copy of our Ellie, Command J. And on that one, I'm just going to bring that down as a shadow. Add a layer effects with a color overlay. And then we're going to make that really quite light. Really quite light. Let's make that a bit smaller and just stretch that out a little bit. Just that shadow catching there. Might do the same to our Joel character. Again, make this a lot smaller. Stretch that all the way out. Command zero to get back again. And effects, color overlay. And then again, we're gonna make that really subtle, just nice and subtle about there. Okay, just above our Ellie character here, we'll add a new pixel layer. We'll do the same. We'll come over here to our flood fill tool. We've got that yellow color and we'll just fill that with yellow and then clip that just to the Ellie character. And again, on that pixel layer, we'll add a mask and we will invert that. And then the pixel layer itself, will change the blend mode to overlay. Click back on the mask, on our brush, still 5%. Let's get our colors back to default, hitting D and then X to go white. Let's zoom in a little bit. 
and we'll just add some of that yellow highlight. Just make our brush a little bit smaller, just down the side here. There we go. Very subtle again, but uh, not too bad. Again, we'll come back onto the exposure level, go back to black, same sort of brush. Make the brush a little bit bigger and then just lighten those areas up a bit. There we go, Command-0. Happy with that. Going to do the same on my light pole now. So let's go to the light pole here. Add that pixel layer. Back on the flood fill, back on the yellow. And then just clip that to the light pole. Again, I'm going to add that mask. Invert it with my command I. Make sure just the pixel layer with the color is on overlay. Back on the mask, back on white. And just going to, with my brush again, very, very subtle, bit of a bigger brush, just add some of that yellow. There we go, nice and subtle. With the buildings, I just want to lighten some of the buildings up a little bit. So I'm just going to go down to the buildings on their exposure, make my brush a bit bigger. Again, I'm going to paint in black this time. Make sure it's black. 14% is okay. I'm just going to lighten some of those up a little bit. and also on the copy as well, just on this side where the sun is. Right up the top here. Just going back and forth to each of these city layers. And what I might do with those city layers as well, I might just put another pixel layer right on top here, change the blend mode to overlay Pick that yellow color again, bring my flow all the way down to five again, and just very carefully just add some of that yellow to these buildings here. Just on the edges there. And there we go. Might just move Ellie in a little bit more. Just a little bit in about there and move her shadow in a little bit just so she's covered a little bit more by our character there and I might just darken those down a little bit as well back onto each of these maybe make it a little bit darker there and the copy as well so let's come over here and let's make that tiny bit darker there as well there we go, so we've got the sun sort of coming through here. We might just make the ground, so on our brush, back to painting in black, and we just might lighten the ground up a little bit here. And I think that's about done for this picture. Let's come up here, go to Layers, Merge Visible. What I'm gonna do, let's have a look at the tone mapping. As you know, the tone map mapping will brighten this up really quite bright. Let's click on our detailed one, bring that tone compression all the way down to 10, contrast down a little bit, and let's bring that exposure all the way down as well. A little bit more detail in there, and I think I'm pretty happy with that, so let's hit apply. So there you go, everybody. That is my composition for this week, the picture loosely based on the TV series, The Last of Us. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I'm going to say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.